A very good morning to all of you joining us on this wonderful day. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for those who have been keeping track of what we've been doing the past two weeks. This is the second week of our time of prayer and prayer focus as a church as we enter the second half of this year. I honestly believe that in this second half of the year, God will bless us in a very special way, more than he has done in the first half of the year. We thank God for what he has done in the first half of the year, but in this second half of the year, we give glory to God. I believe he will do better things. And so as we wrap up our focus, our prayer focus time, we are doing two weeks of prayer. Um, We want to focus on... uh, Zero in on something that was picked up yesterday uh, when we are focusing on the family. And we want to zero in on a special part of the family, and that is the children. And we want to talk a little bit about that for a few minutes and then uh, put in some prayer. And I hope you can join me as we pray together by God's grace. Amen. Uh, I'll be reading from uh, a few portions of Scripture, and I will start... Uh, with Psalms 127. Psalms 127 is a, uh, a psalm that we are familiar with, uh, and it's very instructive. Uh, it says something special about children. Uh, Psalms 127. It says, it's, a, it's part of the songs of uh, ascent. They're called songs of ascent. As they were ascending to the temple, they would sing these psalms and give glory to God. This is what it says in the New King's James Version. It says, unless the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain, uh, those who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early or to stay up late to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Then verse 3. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is a man who has a quiver full of them. They They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies at the gate. May God bless the reading of his word. That scripture begins to talk about building a house and a city. And then it says, if God does not help you in doing that, you're doing all that in vain. And then it zeroes in on a certain aspect, aspect of that house you're building, your children. It says, these children that you have are a gift from the Lord. And so the first thing I want us to appreciate is that children are a gift from the Lord. They're not ours. They belong to the Lord. He has entrusted us. We are stewards. Those of us who have children, I want you to understand that you are a steward of these children. They're not really yours. They, are, they, are, they belong to God. He has entrusted you with the responsibility of taking care of them. And so if I were you, I would take care of them as though they belong to God and not really me. And so I would seek to raise them in a way that pleases God. And so The first thing I want us to do is to thank God for children. Those of us who have them, they could be the brightest, they could be not the most brightest, they could be the most, you know, gifted and not the most gifted, they could be, you know, struggling with disabilities or not struggling with disabilities, but if God has given you a child, whatever state they are in, it's important for you to recognize God as the owner and give thanks to him because you don't deserve that privilege of having these children. And so let's take a minute, good people, wherever you are, and thank God for this gift of children. Those of us that have children, take a minute and thank God for those children. Mention them by name if you can. Lord, we thank you for the gift of children that you have blessed us with. We recognize it's not because we deserve them. It's not because we are good. It's not because we are the best. It's not because we are better parents than others. But you have blessed us with children. You've opened our wombs and blessed us with children. We thank you for each of these children. Whoever they are, whatever state they're in, we thank you for them. Uh, The gifts they have, we thank you for them. The special ability or struggles they have, we thank you for these children. And we give glory to you and recognize that you're the one who has given them to us. The second thing I want us to pray for as we, as we, as we 
pray together concerning children is if it's God who has given us these children, and it's only God who can enable us to raise them in the way that he knows best because they come from him. Give, children are a gift from the Lord, are a heritage from the Lord. If they are coming from him, then he's the one who knows how they should be raised. And I tell you, children, raising of children is one of those very complicated things. It, actually, it's not even complicated, it's complex. It's complex. Because the way you raise one child may not be the way you will need to raise the other child. You, you could have four children and you may need to raise four of them differently because they come you know, with a different gift set. They are wired differently by the God who sent them to you. And so you need God's help in raising them. You need God's help in raising them. So let's for a minute take a moment and reach out to this God who is the one who knows why he gave us this child, and especially those of us who have children that have got difficulties, autism, uh, you know, and, and they have got, uh, uh, you know, they are uh, epileptic, or they have uh, Down syndrome, or they have got any other challenge, they have disabilities. You know, this is a moment just to cry to God and say, God, you know why you allowed me to have this child, and I thank you for this child. Help me. And, 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 and if you have this child who is very gifted, don't look down upon others who have children who are not number one in class. Don't look down up upon them. Thank God for your child, and ask God to continue helping you to raise this gifted child. Let's take a minute and thank God. Lord, we thank you for this gift you have given to us in the form of these children. Lord, to be honest, some of them, we don't know how we will raise them because they are coming with a lot of challenges. Oh, God, give us the wisdom. God, give us the grace. Give us the know-how. I pray specifically for those that are raising children with special uh, challenges, you know, special needs, oh God. How God come through for them. Give them the wisdom. Give them the grace. Give them the patience to know how to raise that autistic child, to know how to raise that child that is disabled, to know how to raise that child who has got Down syndrome. Lord, help, oh God, these parents. This child who's always number last in class, help us not to talk to them badly, but to encourage them, to see them for who they are, to see the other gifts that they have, and to raise them in a way that pleases you. Give us the wisdom and the grace to raise these children in a way that brings glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I recognize that those who are watching this broadcast and you don't have children, you've been trusting God for children. You are married, but you've been trying to get children. Um, and it's not been working. It's now five years. It's now seven years, ten years. Let's trust God. I mean, let me make a special prayer for you. Lord God, have mercy on this dear one that is watching this broadcast. And they're trusting in you for a child. They have been, they have been trying. They have been praying. They have been uh, looking up to you for a child um, like Hannah in the, in the Bible. I pray, remember them like you remembered Anna and bless them with children. Open that womb, O oh God, for the glory of your name and bless this dear one that is connected to this program, that is connected to this broadcast this morning. Bless them, O oh God. Touch that womb, O oh God, and may you grant them the fruit of children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we, as we, you know, wrap up our time of prayer, I uh, want us to really uh, trust God for these children that God has blessed us with. It says that they are like arrows in the hands of uh, a, a, you know, a warrior. And that, and you, as you know, with arrows, an arrow will go uh, the distance depending on how the warrior will, you know, pull the string of the arrow, the bow, the bow, the bow. Is it the bow? Yes, the bow. And, uh, it, it depends on the strength of the warrior pulling the strings of the bow when the arrow is there, and then when he releases the arrow, the arrow goes, depending on that strength, goes as far as that strength would allow. Let's trust God that our children will go far, that God will give us the ability to get, stretch them so that they can go the best distance according to their ability. Even that child that has special needs, God has a plan and a purpose for them. God has a plan in a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 applies to that child. Jeremiah 29, 11 applies to that child. Even that child that has, got, uh, has been number last in class throughout. God has a plan for that child. I want us to declare a blessing over these children. And we will declare this blessing in the order of Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. It says that Jesus grew up in, in, in wisdom, in stature, in favor with man, 
and with God. In favor with God and with man. It says that in the scripture. But I'll put it in a different way. I'll, I'll, I'll arrange them in a different order. But it says Jesus grew in these four areas. He, he was of good health in stature. He was very apt and very astute and very keen. Apt to learn. He had a good mind. He had a very sound mind. And then he grew up uh, in favor with men. People liked him. Um, and he was interacted very well with people and then with favor with God because um, uh, God's blessing was upon him. Could we just take a minute and trust that God will help our children to flourish in these four areas? Father God, take a moment, pray for your child, mention them by name, mention them by name. Father God, we pray for our children that you will remember them, oh God, in your mercy and by your grace. May look 252 be the story of our children, like it was for Jesus, that they will grow up in wisdom. Their minds will be alert throughout their lives as they grow up, alert to learn the necessary things they need for them to accomplish your purposes uh, along the path, along the way, later on in life. Oh God, may they grow up in good health. We trust you for the health of our children, where they are struggling with sicknesses, where they are struggling with all sorts of challenges, where they are struggling with infections, that these infections will not uh, cut them short, that these infections will not sabotage their ability uh, to perform well. I pray, oh God, may our children grow up in good health, in good health. We declare good health is a portion of our children throughout their lives. And we pray it shall be a long life that they shall outlive us. They shall outlive us, oh God. Those that are watching this podcast, I pray, oh God, that none of us will have to bury our children, but that our children will bury us because they will outlive us. Lord, I pray that they will grow up in favor with men, that they will be a blessing to people wherever they go, and people will be a blessing to them. They'll be favored. They'll be loved. Uh, they will add value to people, and people will add value to them wherever they go. Lord, we pray over our children that, yes, indeed, they will find favor with you. They will always gravitate towards your house. They will always gravitate towards the word of God. They will always gravitate towards your values. Lord, may they find favor with you. May they be blessed in your name. We thank and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow as we continue to wrap up this time of prayer and as we focus uh, on praying, as we focus on praying for the nation uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.